I have started my own jewelry line. I am so excited, you guys. We have 500 of each. And I'm through with only one bag. You wanna help me um, package 1,500 necklaces? Hey, Cora, do you wanna be a model for me? Sure. Do you know what that means? No. All right, you guys. This is probably the most exciting, hello dog, thing I could probably ever tell you guys. I'm so excited, you guys already know from the title, duh. But I have started my own jewelry line. So I have been doing this for about, we've been in the process for this for about one full year, actually a year and like two weeks. Here's where the story begins. Me and my dad about one year ago went to China with a few other peoples. And I decided that I wanted to start my own jewelry line. So I went to China looking for that. And that's where the process all began. We went to multiple different factories, multiple different markets, looking at all the different ideas. And then I finally got kind of an idea of what I wanted. Came home, started designing it for a year. So after a full year of going to China, going and checking everything out, looking at products, looking at designs, materials, all that stuff, then coming home and designing it for a full year, um, making it, getting the samples, then remaking it, all that fun stuff, we have come to my necklace. I have created this cute star necklace. I am so excited, you guys. Chokers have been in. As you can tell, I've got one on myself. So I thought that this would be a perfect product to start with. And if you guys look closely, for all of you hardcore fans out there, I love you guys all. It also says my name on it, so. It's got the three stars, then it says K-L-A-I-L-E-A, -L -L -E but it's small enough so that you can't technically see it, but you can if you wanted to. And now it is time to start selling them. You guys, I am so excited, you guys. I'm going to be selling these to you guys, and uh, it'll be so exciting to see everybody wearing them and see people buying them. I am so excited to see all of this come to play. So, so, We've got my handy dandy box that we just got shipped from China, and it has all of the products inside. So we're gonna unbox it, and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, guys, moment of truth right here. We've got necklaces. Okay, we have all the different necklaces. We've got silver. We've got rose gold, and we have gold or yellow gold. So we've got all the different necklaces right here. We have the bags that they come in, and then we've got some cardboard, which I'm not exactly sure if we're going to stick those in them yet, but before we start shipping them to everyone, I have to catalog it, meaning I have to count everything, and then I'm going to be packaging them and getting them sent out to anybody who buys them. So, here we go. Let's get started on packing them. I have my binder, which is where I keep most of my product stuff, a few upcoming products. So basically what I have to do now, catalog it. So I have to count every single one of these and every single one of these. Put it in my binder and then whenever we get, whenever we sell some, I write it down to keep track. So let the fun begin. All right, here we go with the rose gold. They say that they have 100 in them. We're just gonna double check that real quick. Oh, I think I, got, I messed up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take actually a while. No, don't take them out of the bag. That, that's not gonna work. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Apparently, if I talk louder, apparently, if I talk louder, it keeps it in my brain. Oh shoot, what was I at? 30, 30, 32, 31, 30. Oh, frickity frackin'. 90, gosh, I almost just forgot what number I was at. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, we're so close. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 
have 500 of each. And I'm through with only one bag. We have to count each one just in case some have less, some have more. We want to make sure we have all 500 of each so that we don't mix up the, the selling to you guys. So, <laughs> this is gonna be a fantastic night. Welcome, these are all my babies. There are so many bags. I have two down and um, 13 more bags to go. So, I'm gonna go watch a movie upstairs with the children and uh, see you guys in a minute when all this is done. Hi! Hi guys! Um, it is now 11.18 p.m. We just finished watching a movie. Riquel, who just left the bedroom, helped me count all those fantastic things. Um, we had two extra ones, so I have to go through now I have to go through every single golden rose gold one <laughs> and recount them because just to make sure some aren't missing or we do actually have some extras. So we're still going. We're watching Hobbit upstairs while counting the necklaces. And now we are not watching something downstairs, counting necklaces. And then, so here's the two extra ones. One's rose gold, one's yellow gold. We found the missing one, well, the stray one, I guess. We found the stray one's home. Now I get to count two more rose gold bags and see if that one's missing one. Right, we just counted this one and it's not this one. So, hopefully it's the next bag. If not, we get to count the other three rose gold bags, which is okay. Me and Raquel kind of got a system down with how to count them. So we don't technically mess up. Ten. Okay. We found all the missing ones. Now what we need to figure out, what me and my dad need to figure out is packaging because in the beginning our idea was we were going to put each necklace on a cardboard piece, which I actually measured out completely myself. I measured out how far in the slits need to be with the hole and then how um, the width and the height. Yeah, it's it's late, so don't judge me. You want to help me um, package 1,500 necklaces? Okay, sweet, thanks. I designed it with a piece of paper and a neck, and then one of my necklaces. And we, why is there a hole right there? That's not useful. They're supposed to. Why is there holes right there? We aren't sure. It's okay. This this is legitimately exactly what the piece of paper looked like. That's kind of crazy to see the like. I mean, yes, it's just a piece of paper, but still, it's kind of funny. I designed the whole necklace. So I designed three stars, right? One, two, three, and then my name, K L A I L E A, and three more stars. Um, with I showed them the measurement between each one, and then now each one has 20 links in between it, with an extra, I think it was three inches on the chain, so that like, you can have a choker, or you can have it really long, so that it's an adjustable size. This is really cool to see my necklace, my product. <laughs> These are quite large. So yeah, like I said in the beginning, the mesh baggies were supposed to fit to the measurement of the cardboard piece. I did that wrong. How big is the cardboard piece? But since like Corona hit and all this stuff, the a whole bunch of things got messed up. And so they said they just had this one size. And I said, you know what, go for it. Because I've been waiting a long time to get these things started. Now it was my fault because I kind of slapped on it. <laughs> Sorry. Holy wowzer, that is way too big. <laughs> um, okay. Day dose. Dose de e whatever other language. Sorry if I slaughtered those languages. And we've only gotten through two bags. We are going to attempt to go through two more, hopefully three bags. We have 15 bags we have to go through. But Look at all these, you guys. 
I packaged every single one of these. I unpackaged them from this, then I reclasped each one, and then I stuck them on each cardboard piece. So, when you guys buy these necklaces, they were, first of all, they were designed by me. I designed them, I have the design stuff somewhere of me designing, me drawing each one out, me finding other necklaces to go. I had this heart necklace from somebody, and each star is the exact size of that. And then I found the, say, the font for the letters on each one. And then I drew out the entire design, how many cla or how many things in between each. Anyways, so these were all designed completely by me and then packaged by me. So, yeah. Here's to another one in the morning, late night of packaging. Now it is time to stick these into these. Definitely not big enough. Okay, so, um, by the way guys, like I said, the bags are very large. So, when you guys do get yours, I'm so sorry, the bag is not the size we thought it would be. So they're going to be folded like this, but hey, you get a large mesh baggie and a necklace. I mean, if it was me, I love these mesh baggies. So, here we go. to being done, being ready to launch this. I am so excited, you guys have no idea. So, um, the next thing that I have to do to launch this product is I need to uh, send them out to other people to, um, for free obviously, to hopefully promote it as well so that when it launches, it can get from many different, like other people. So, I am figuring out basically everyone that I'm going to try and ask. Hey Cora, do you want to be a model for me? Sure. Do you know what that means? No. Basically, do you want to wear my necklace and have, can I take some photos of you? Sure. Okay, go get into a swimsuit. Go ask Evie if she can too. All right, I'm back. So I got Raquel. Raquel's going to be helping me take photos. And I got one of the products. This is what we are going to be taking the actual photos of the like product. This I'll use on my neck to take photos of. But here we go. Ah! So honestly, is so cool. Like for me, guys, this is like Christmas to me. Cause I I have 1,500 different necklaces. But I don't get to keep any of them, except for like one. Oh, we've got our other model. Model. We, before we f take photos of you, Cora, we're going to fix up your hair, if that's okay. Okay, I think we got some good photos. Cora, you think we got some good photos? Yeah. Do you like that necklace? Yeah. Do you want to keep it? Sure. A free necklace? Ooh. I'm just kidding, okay. We're on a few of the last parts to my launch. All right, so me and my mom are going to be going to the store. We're gonna be finding stuff to for the package for the people that I'm sending it to. And then we will wait for the launch. Well, I have to finish packaging, but we're gonna go to the store. We're going down the sand, sandy section, candy section. Um, okay, one of my absolute all-time favorite candies is, gosh, where are they? I don't even know if they have them. Okay, we're gonna get two of these, as well as two of these, and then we'll do one more candy just to add some cuteness to it. Hey guys, so since this is kind of a more summer, this is a summer launch, we're going for a kind of beachy vibe. I love the beach, I love the beach, I love summer, I love the sunshine. Like, where we live, it's really hot at the moment, and I just love it. I don't know why I said that, but. Oh. 